because that gives, opens up and gives more surface areas in your soil. And that's where life arises. So biodynamics really can help that happen. One other quick follow-up um, about the tilling. I remember reading something, and I might not be doing this correctly, but when Steiner talked about the winter time is the time, the fallow time, when you know most where you're really pulling in a lot more of the cosmos into the soil, and that there were some people again orthodox biodynamics that would have to till first, thinking that that was going to help to pull more of the cosmos in at that fallow time. Does that make sense to you, or is that? Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can address that uh, because uh, what's what happens is traditions get set in concrete. And sometimes that's really not appropriate. We don't, we don't grow and evolve that way. Uh, yes, many of those farmers like cultivated in the fall and left it fallow over the winter. Uh, the fact is that the warmth and light recedes into the soil and it's working in the soil in the winter. Uh, people down south here in like places like Texas and Louisiana and Georgia they would see the kudzu drop all its leaves and become it, it would become seemingly dormant in the winter and I want to stress seemingly dormant Okay, because what's going on with that kudzu in the winter is its roots are growing. And it does a tremendous development of roots over the winter. You don't see it. But it completely abandons the atmosphere in the winter. It delves deep and it eats rocks. Uh, and this is a plant that really can, all, all legumes do, they pull oxygen into the soil all the way to the root tips. It's uh, actually, it's uh, an error in our concepts to say that the legume fixes nitrogen. It doesn't. It's the microbes that are living with it that fix the nitrogen and the, the legume supplies the minerals. Because it's going down there and oxygen is the basis of acidity in chemistry and the pH of its root exudates is below four. It could be below three, maybe, in some cases. But it's really acidic around the roots of the legume, and it eats rocks. It happens to like limestone in these soils here very much. I was just going to mention your article that was in Acres USA last year, What Happens in Winter. Yeah. And it's actually on our website. It's yeah. really very profound. Interesting. It's mostly because like everything's dead in winter. No, but... If you're from Canada, then you're familiar with maple trees. And you have to ask yourself, what's going on with the maple tree at its roots that can produce such a flow of sugar when the snow starts to melt thing and the warmth starts to root, starts, just barely starts to return to the atmosphere. The, the warmth rises up into the atmosphere and so does the sap and it's full of sugar. What has that plant been doing over the winter with the warmth and light in the soil? So it's like we've got to understand the way the forces work. And this is what biodynamics is about, is understanding the life forces, the life processes. This is what you want to do is to get your farm to where you don't have to put any more substances into it because you now have the forces providing the access to everything that's there. Are we out of time? Yes. Okay.